Right, hi, in this video we're going to try and do a slightly more complicated um, version of completing the square. Um, you'll notice on this one the x squared coefficient isn't 1 anymore. So what I want to do is I'm going to factorise out the um, constants from both of these terms here to make the x squared coefficient 1. And that's going to give me 3. And then we in brackets we've got x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals 0. So this is the um, pattern that we've been working with already and we're going to complete the square with that. So we've got 3 and then we're going to write this as x plus half the value of the x coefficient 2 close bracket squared minus this value squared which is 4 and then close the bracket minus the 7 equals 0. So all we've done is rewrite this section here. So we're now going to solve this to find out the value of x plus 2 all squared. So first of all I'm going to add 7 to both sides and that's going to give me that. I'm now going to divide both sides by 3 and things are okay at this point here. So now what I want to do to get x plus 2 all squared. So then I've got to add 4 to both sides. So that's going to give me x plus 2 squared um, equals 7 over 3 plus 4. Now note that 4 is the same as 12 over 3. So if we add these together, we've got 19 over 3. I want to get rid of the squared and I'm going to do that by square root in both sides. So that's going to give me x plus 2, brackets actually aren't required there, equals plus or minus the square root of 19, let's get that 9 to come out, 19 over 3. So I now want to get rid of the add in 2, so I'll subtract 2 from both sides, so that's minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 19 over 3. So what did we do? Well we wanted our pattern of x squared um, plus some um, number of x's so we did that by factorizing out the 3 here. Once we did that we um, had our x squared plus that number pattern so we rewrote it the way that we saw in the first video and then because we had our x squared um, x plus 2 all squared we solved for x plus 2 um, so x plus 2 squared and then we um, took away 2 from both sides to get our answer and we do the same thing every time i hope that was helpful